Hi, I'm Rhonda Rice, Engagement Director for the National Down Syndrome Congress. Thank you for joining us today for the reading of Chad's Surprise Balloon Ride by Kelly Wallace DeWitt. I have with me Jeremy Williams. Jeremy will be doing our reading today. Thanks for joining us, Jeremy. Thank you. Chad woke to a great voice found from outside his bedroom window. He opened his eyes and saw the sun pouring into his room and across his bed. Then for just a moment, a shadow blocked the sun and then the light came back the other shadow, and then the sun again. It was Saturday morning, and the balloons had arrived. Chad quickly got out of bed, and he looked for his mom and dad, but they were not in their bedroom. His sister Erin was not in her room e either. He went to the living room and found the front door opened from outside. He heard his dad calling, Good morning, son. We were eating breakfast outside this morning. Mom said, what would you like? Chad find pancake. And Erin agreed. Pancake it is, said Mom. As, as she was, went to the, the um, house, Chad took her place at the picnic table and looked up to watch the balloons floated over their heads. Chef family had been talking about the hot air balloon competition for weeks. It would be in they are feeding for 10 days. The balloon would launch every morning and every evening from the far field grounds. There, that was just a mile from the house. Each time the pilot would be given a task to co complete and drop a like. like dropped a marker at the Fulton spot in the Feedy neighborhood on the way there to the challenge. All the Shav neighbors were having a picnic breakfast too. The hot hair balloons were so close to them. They could hear the bodies talking from inside their baskets. Mom came back with pink cakes and Shad find thank you. Chad was five years old and had Down syndrome. Signed Ninwich was the first Ninwich because it happened difficult for him to learn to talk. He was learning to say new words every day, but sometimes he still choose 
chose to find sometimes if the word was hard to say or if he was excited like he was now he find would find Shah's sister Erin was eight years old. She was counted the blooms in the sky and went up to 48. There were 200 blooms for two for painting in this, comp in this year competition. Mm -hmm. For two years, Chad, his family, and neighbors went outside and watched the balloons fill with the sky. Chad saw some beautiful balloons with bright colors and some fun shapes. One, two, have for a balloon shape like a carrot and one light ship like a battery he saw some of his favorite cartoon characters. He saw a bunny and snowman, hot dog and, and a giant shoe. He saw a truck that looks like as big as his house. When they finally watched the last balloon fly frosty over their heads, they all waved goodbye. All weekend, Chad and his family watched the beautiful balloons floated on the skies of their city. On Monday morning, Dad went to work, but Chad got dressed and went outside his mom and sister to watch the money lunch down. Chad yelled when they got outside and saw a balloon with neon, neon colors coming near them. It is too, it is low. Mom said they watched the hot air balloon come closer to and closer to the ground near their home. And then finally they are sight of it behind the house on the next street over. They watched, they waited for and come back up into the sky. But when it, it didn't, they start, started walking to find the balloon. When they turned the corner of their next street, they saw a neon cut of balloon lying down on the road in front of them. So for the big, it is so big, Chad almost whisper when he saw the bright color start stretched out across the road. The pilot and the, his crew were started to row up the, their balloon from of the neighbors helped too, and soon 
the crew had left five minutes away with the balloon. It is a basket in the back of the truck. They couldn't finish the task that morning. <clears throat> On Tuesday night, the balloon did not nudge from the fairground. They came from the other end of the city in the field at them and of Shav neighborhood. There were there was huge X braids painted on the grass with red paint. The part of task that evening was try to end. Their balloons as close to the X as they could shad Aaron and Mom got closer to the X as they were allowed and washed as a as each balloon floated so gracefully to the ground or around them. The fin of balloons landed in the field near them, but some couldn't get as close to landing and then and thought out the fields and neighborhood nearby. <clears throat> After they landed, the pilots and their crew waited the, for the judges to give them their scores for the evening and packed up their balloon and were done for the on day. The fun was twenty bright orange and twenty no in the sky when Chad, Aaron and Mom began to walk home. When they turned the corner onto their streets, they saw a balloon near their house that had not been deflated yet. When they got closer to the brightly colored balloon, they saw the pilot was given the neighbor's children life in his balloon. Shad stood in line with his friends and neighbors, only his sister's hand until it was their turn. Climb into the basket of the huge hot air balloon. The pilots lifted Shad up to the touch, the thick rope that hung down over the pilot's head. Then he put Shad down and poured hard on the rope until the fire went up into the balloon. The fire filled the balloon with hot air and slowly lifted it off the ground. Two other ropes came over the side of the basket and down to the ground. 
ran two crew members held the rope. They had held the rope tightly so the balloon couldn't not float too far away. The balloon began to fly into the sky and over their house. Staff neighborhood Chad could barely to see over the side of the basket, but he was able to look down and find his house and his dog in the yard. He watched his house get smaller and smaller as they flew higher in the sky. Then the pilot slowly the fire and the balloon began to float back down toward the ground. The man on the ground cords on the rope until the balloon landed gently. On, on the streets again. Walking back to their house, Erin and her friend Bethany talked fast with excitement. But Chad was too excited to talk. He just keep Signing fire over and over when they got to Chad house. Dad was there, and Aaron quickly told him the, that their story. Chad ran to his dad's arms and said, That was the best. Chad was right. The rest of the week, they watched the hot air balloons with their burnt colors floated frosty in the sky over them. More balloons ever landed in their neighborhood and in the fields nearby. But Chad's surprise balloon ride was the best part of the week. That was great. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for spending time with us today and reading the story of Chad's surprise balloon ride to everyone. Thank you.